hutuba ya misitu ya Kenya. Karibu sana. Karibu mheshimiwa rais. Karibu.
basi mheshimiwa rais mchakato mzima wa gwarede umeanza Extraordinary things happen, not because of chance, but because we have extraordinary leadership. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you to this Forest Law Enforcement Academy uh, for this particular passing out parade. Before you are 102 inspector, inspectors and 465 foresters, comprising 331 men and 226 women. And therefore, we have met the constitutional threshold of gender equality, uh, balance. Your Excellency, sir, these graduates have undergone successful, uh, successfully and completed a six months rigorous paramilitary training, and now they are ready to, keep, to pick up their responsibilities of forest conservation and protection. In conclusion, on behalf of the entire Kenya Forest Service fraternity, I express my sincere appreciation to your visionary uh, forest conservation and protection intervention, 
whose impact will endure for many years to come. These interventions include recruitment of an additional 3,300 staff and your commitment to achieve the 30% recover by the year 2030. We cannot overemphasize the relevance of the recently launched Climate Resilience Service Program, known as Climate Works Mtaani Initiative. That will also help the 15 billion tree growing campaign program with the objective of creating unemployment opportunities for over 200,000 youth annually. Your Excellency, today is your day. We, the Ministry of Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry, we are very, very happy. It's under your leadership since 2002 that over 2,600 rangers were recruited, trained, and you officiated the passing out parade. Today we have the cadets and our technical team comprising over 576. That is an indication, that is a commitment that you and your government has shown to conserving our environment, our forest, and we want to commit as a ministry that by 2032, our forest cover, inshallah, will move from the current 12.7 to 32%. In the last two years, Your Excellency, under your leadership, Kenya has earned great recognition as a global leader in promoting environmental sustainability and climate action. This is due to your proactive leadership, your sustained political commitment. And today, Kenya has, a very, has developed very strong policy framework, ambitious reforestation goals, strategic investment in renewable energy, and active participation in international climate diplomacy. Your Excellency, we acknowledged the budgetary and policy support you have given us in the implementation of the 15 billion tree growing campaign program. A very noble, a transformative initiative to address the critical challenges of climate change, water scarcity, land degradation, biodiversity loss, while also at the same time, Your Excellency, creating jobs, improving livelihoods, building resilience of our local communities and the national economy against any climate change and climate vulnerability. And that as we work in consolidating and reorganizing the legal framework for us to tap into this big resource that is available for the transformation of our country, I also want to ensure and to ask those in the forest product space, those in the timber space, that there is now an opportunity for us to grow our timber industry space. We have already taken steps as government to make sure that the use of locally available forest resources takes precedence over imported products. It is the reason why we have made the conscious decision that furniture must be manufactured locally. And imported furniture will not take precedence over locally manufactured furniture. And to make sure that we exploit our resources in a transparent, effective manner, the old method of allocating forest resources to people in a manner that is not transparent has stopped. Going forward, all public resources in the forest will be tendered for in a transparent, clear manner so that we get value for the resources we have in our forests and also develop capacity for industries to use these resources for the benefit of the country, for us to be able to create jobs around these uh, forest products, and for us to manufacture forest products, including furniture, locally in Kenya, using our own human capital, our own developed resources, 
and making sure that products that otherwise would have been imported are made from forest products that are available here in Kenya. There is therefore an opportunity for business people to work with the Kenya Forest Service for us to create a robust forest products industry that will power the engines of our transformation. Forest conservation, afforestation, and tree planting campaigns are long-standing Kenyan traditions going back to many decades. In 2023, we launched a national program to restore degraded landscapes and ecosystems, strengthen our institutional framework to combat deforestation, and included a national campaign to plant 15 billion trees by 2032, aiming to raise our forest cover to 30%. This is the context in which you must understand the significance of this function and appreciate the role of the graduating officers here, as well as their colleagues who are already in the Forest Protection Service. They are the guardians of the nation and the Earth's lifeline. Their work enables us achieve sustainability and prevail against daunting global and local environmental challenges. Forests purify our air, sustain biodiversity, and support livelihoods. It is therefore essential that we develop capacity, including adequate numbers of trained professionals to overcome the threats of deforestation, illegal logging, and climate change, which diminish forests and the Earth's ability to sustain life. It is therefore essential that we develop capacity, as I have said, including the human resource. The men and women here, and I want to tell you as a father, that the challenge that our Kenya Forest Service has faced in the past is that of laxity, incompetence, and integrity. I want to ask you, in this very important graduation ceremony, in the presence of your parents and families, do not allow your career to be tainted with integrity issues or laxity or incompetence. You have the opportunity to change course for Kenya Forest Service and make Kenya truly the environmental headquarters of the world by serving in a dedicated manner in the responsibility that is bestowed on you today. I wish to emphasize that protecting our environment not only be befits us and not only benefits all of us, but also empowers our generation to discharge its debt to future generations. I ask you, as forest officers and managers, as you join the KFS fraternity, believe in yourselves, believe in what you do, and believe in your country. All of us, as the people of Kenya, it is time that we believed in this great country God has given us. It is time that we stopped the negativity. It is time that we stopped believing in the fake news and in the propaganda that is hurting our nation. Because looking at the Kenya Forest Service in the last two years, the transformation is phenomenal. What has been achieved in the last two years, reducing illegal logging and forest criminal activity by 90% is something we should be proud of. The fact that Kenya Forest Service now can raise its own resources because of the transformation and because of the reforms that have been undertaken is something we should celebrate. That is not just happening in the Kenya Forest Service. It is happening in the Kenya Wildlife Service. It is happening in the National Youth Service. It is happening in all our other services. These are the positive elements that make Kenya stand out. And that is why we have earned respect globally. 
I join you today to celebrate the passing out of 102 inspector cadets and 465 forest trainees because this is a huge milestone in Kenya's journey towards a greener and more resilient future. I congratulate you on your achievements and the commitment you have shown in the conservation and protection of our nation's natural resources. Your work will contribute to our collective endeavor to build a prosperous nation and leave an inspiring legacy to future generations. Every tree planted and forest preserved symbolizes our vision of a vibrant and ecologically secure Kenya. Your graduation here today is not just a matter of personal achievement or career development, but it is an integral part to our broader national policy to make Kenya clean, green, sustainable, and prosperous. The Constitution sets out our commitment to ecological integrity and environmental protection. We have an obligation to maintain at least 15% national forest cover and to ensure that the environment is respected, protected, and enhanced for the benefit of not just present, but also future generations. As part of the global community, Kenya is a leader in environmental sustainability, biodiversity conservation, and climate action. Since our early days as a republic, we have actively collaborated with international partners to develop frameworks for ecological sustainability and climate change mitigation. This is why we host the global headquarters of the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, in Kenya. It is also why we have been at the forefront of developing multilateral and regional policies and strategies to enable our countries combat environmental degradation and manage the effects of climate change. Basi mwishimu wa raisu na umbo kusimama kwa heshima ili weze kupokea heshima kutoka kwa kufikundi hivi. Basi wengine tujimweke na mwishimu wa raisu kwa hafla hii. Hii kikundi chakonza mwishimu wa raisu. Kikiongozo nae mkuu wa gwaride. Officer trainee Simon Ole Salaja. Kikundi chapili mwishimu wa raisu. Huku kikiongozo nae officer trainee Kelvin Njoroge. Ni Oliver Murgoa.
President, Your Excellency, Sir, you saw the need. The need for a treat. Thank you, Your Excellency. For giving us this chance, for adding to your bar. More officers and rangers. To protect, protect conserve, conserve, and sustainably manage our forests. It has shown, Mr. President, in black and white. This has shown that you, Mr. President, you, Doctari, you are a dendrophile. Your love for her. Your passion. Your patriotism to this great nation. She is my oh, land. Of course. Our mother, yes, yes my, my country, country Kenya. Kenya. Thank, Thank you. you. Was a land of one Kenya. Tukupule, tukuyana Kenya. Tulinde, misitu yeah.